how many people in this room know what a process dump is? Oh, fair amount of people, awesome, all right. Uh, that'll help. Um, so I'm gonna skip this slide because nothing up here matters. <laughs> Um, so at Stripe, uh, you heard yesterday that uh, we use OS Query and by extension Uptics, but OS Query in general um, as our EDR solution um, and also as a kind of a corporate management utility. Uh, and an extremely common narrative in this space is malware, right? Something happens on the machine, something goes bump in the night. What happened? How do we deal with it? Um, and so uh, one of... Um, anybody in here know what DFIR means? Okay, so that's basically the process that an analyst goes through to take apart malware, find out how it works, find out what the bad stuff is, and then build in preventions and detections to make that not happen again. Uh, that process almost always requires some level of memory analysis. Um, and there were some talks yesterday that talked about how um, as wonderful as OS Core is, by default, it doesn't really give you that visibility. All right? You don't know what happens in memory. You, know, you generally get uh, network artifacts and you get uh, file system artifacts. Uh, and the problem is that uh, the attacker landscape is today, of today doesn't drop shit to disk and it, you know, it's easy to mask uh, network artifacts. So these things become invisible. Uh, so the rest of this talk is gonna be a, a, um, kind of a story, right? like a hypothetical plausibility on a malware scenario and a, a technique that I've developed in the form of an OS query extension that I would love to make public, but work didn't give me permission yet, so stay tuned, <laughs> um, to allow OS query to perform memory dumps in the wild at scale and also at time of attack so that you get context of the events without having to involve a human and lose time in triage. All right. Uh, so we have, our, we have our, our fleet, right? We have your organization, it's full of people. These people have devices. Some of them are laptops. These laptops have OS Quarry on them. Uh, and some, you know, for a time it is good, you know, and all is calm in the valley. Uh, and then somebody clicks on something and uh, bogey gets in the environment, right? Uh-oh, bad times. All right, so uh, most, most malware, com uh, commercial malware, black hat or white hat, <laughs> um, it'll download more malware, right? It, it gets second, secondary stagers and additional functionality. Uh, and that additional functionality has a variety of capabilities, right? It can steal passwords. Um, Mimikatz is a, is a relatively well-known tool among penetration testers. It uh, is used on Windows environments to capture uh, memory from a process that Windows uses to hold credentials called LSAS. Um, it can uh, go out there, you know, Bitcoin stealer and you know, wallet stealer stuff is pretty common. It can go through files on disk, you know, key logging, uh, common ransomware tactic to scare people is it'll take over the uh, webcam that's facing at you and show you your picture. Oh, we know who you are. Uh, um, this is a substantial amount of data theft, right? And the thing about this is that when it uh, makes off with its tracks, uh, it's not necessary to leave a really pronounced network footprint or any real uh, file footprint unless we're talking about certain forms of persistence and there's fileless persistence on there. So it's not, you're not gonna see it. Right? Even if you're, you're writing rules and you're, you know, you're doing your OS query management and your compliance and all this other stuff, right? Um, so this is more or less what OS query is gonna see. Um, I guess I'll, I mean, I'm not gonna, I could read the slide, but why? You can all read. Um, but the trick is what it, what it doesn't see, right? Like, we don't actually know how this malware works. Like, we, we, don't, we, we don't know how it works. So how do we get there? How do we, how do we pop, the, pop the hood on that? Um, so here's, here's the workflow. Uh, so this extension, so this is a, this is a machine that, uh, for the purposes of this example, has OS Query installed. Uh, and uh, has the extension that I'm gonna demo in a moment loaded. Uh, now this is a little bit of a lie <laughs> because you cannot load extensions on the version of OS Query that Uptick ships yet. That's my way of pressuring them to do it. Ha. <laughs> uh, so an event happens, right? We have our infection and it triggers your SIM. Your SIM could be Splunk, your SIM could be, I don't know. You guys know what a SIM is. Um, 
And the sim says, oh no, a function call has happened that we care about. For example, on Windows, uh, the get async key state API function is almost only used by keyloggers. Nothing else really uses it, right? Uh, on OS X, um, there's a Coco function that is built in, which is the standard API on, uh, on, for Apple, uh, that performs screenshots. Now there's another way to do it, uh, by manually loading a dynamic shared library and calling uh, three functions in a row. Pretty much the only stuff that does that is malware because the legit stuff is signed by Apple and it uses the Apple function. It doesn't have a reason to do that. So there, there are very clear uh, log-based detections that you can build that will fire this stuff that what you want is the memory contest. So this stuff goes to the sim, right? And the sim says, uh-oh, something's happened, right? Uh, so the sim goes to the fleet manager, um, which could be... Could be Clyde, could be OS Control, could be whatever, and says, I'm gonna issue an API command that is gonna call, that is gonna do a query, and the query is gonna be from a table. Um, I don't know if you'll see the table name in the demo. I think you do. Anyway, the table's called proc dump, right? And it's just a PID list, and in that table, you select a PID that you wanna dump data from, and it'll give you data in real time. So your fleet manager sends that query pack out to your uh, affected machine, uh, it dumps uh, the data, and then that goes back to your uh, analysis alert window where your malware analyst or your security incident response personnel can take the memory dump apart, find out what things are doing in real time, and uh, the idea is that this functionality can be, I mean, you'll see in the demo, it's, it's a real-time uh, execution, so you'll see how fast it is. It's fast enough that uh, this is not the kind of thing where you have to go stand up a, a VM in a corner and figure out what happened past tense. Like this is fast enough that you can be in the field, the attack is still going on, and you can actively engage with your compromised machine. 